Hi guys, Soul Intuition here. Thanks for tuning in. This uh, scope is going to be kind of short, but sweet and right to the point. Now, as you know, I'm a licensed master esthetician and I'm in Virginia. I'm at home, but I like to make a broadcast about how do you determine your skin type? What kind of skin do you have? A lot of people ask me that because how can you truly take good care of your skin if you don't even know what type of skin you have. So first of all, what does skin type mean anyway? Skin type simply means how much oil does your skin produce? Um, <clears throat> and also it's determined by multiple factors. Like, I mean, your genetics play a role. So say for instance, um, if your mom had really big pores and she had acne prone skin, there is a likelihood that you may have acne and large pores too. Um, other factors uh, that influence your skin type with, and how it changes are your hormones, your lifestyle choices like smoking, if you go tanning, and there's no such thing as a safe tan, okay? There's no such thing as a healthy tan. <laughs> but we'll talk about that on another scope. Um, you know, taking hormonal medication, taking any types of medications can affect your skin. A lot of things can affect your oil production and um, your natural hormone process um, as you age leads you to have drier skin. But, you know, that's just as time goes on. So anyway, here are some characteristics to pay attention to when you're trying to determine your skin type. All right. And um, of course, I'll tell you a little bit about the products you can use for each skin type. But let's just go down. So first, oily skin. One telltale sign of uh, this skin type is your pore size. Oily skin types often have larger pores to accommodate more oil production so if you look in the mirror not a magnifying mirror just a plain mirror and you can see visible pores in your t-zone which is your forehead and then the forehead is the top bar and the rest of the t-zone the stem is all the way down to the chin um if you answer yes to large visible pores in that area you may have oily skin do you get clog pores up here and um breakouts then again you may have oilier skin do your skin get um shiny after only a couple hours after you washed your face oily skin okay if you answer yes to all of those or most of those you definitely have oil oily skin and you're you're gonna want to use oily skincare products to help keep that shine under control okay <laughs> all right um I'm going to do a scope on how to care for each skin type, but today we're just determining skin types. Right. Next, and I do have my notes, guys. So combination skin types. A combination is um, dry and oily. Maybe you have partially normal skin as well, but it's not all the same type on your whole face. So we call that combination. Now, do you experience like a lot of shininess and remember where your T-zone is? The forehead is the top bar and then that middle line down to the chin. Is that super shiny sometimes, but yet the rest of it feels like dehydrated or dry? That means you have combination skin. So you may have clog pores, you may get occasional breakouts. And me, I'm combination. So that's my struggle. Um, you know, during the cold winter months, you get super dry and then when it's hot, it's get really oily. You know, combination skin products, those are what you want to look for, it says, for a combination skin. And they're formulated to try to keep that, to help your skin stay balanced, okay? Next, very dry and dry. Um, unlike skin that's oily, dry skin, they see few to no pores on the nose. Um, you might feel, your, your skin might feel tight after cleansing it. But don't confuse dry skin with dehydrated skin because you can have oily skin and it still be dehydrated. Dehydration is um, dependent upon your, um, you know, lick your water intake, obviously, okay? So, and, um, you know, remember, your skin type is based on how much oil your skin produces. So if you have dry skin, that means your skin does not produce enough oil or lipids and um that's what causes the moisture loss and um 
dry skin often is thinner like try you know do a, an elasticity test on your skin um, it's thinner in texture it's prone to more fine lines and wrinkles earlier um, and deep dry and uh, so the difference between dry skin and dehydrated skin is you know like I just said dry skin you lack oil production naturally dehydrated skin is caused by a lack of water and that's caused by um, sometimes your intake of water which I said before and other times just products that you're using just strip the water and pull it out of you even oily skin like I said before can be dehydrating okay so if you have dry skin make sure you use products to stay for dry skin <laughs> alright and last but not least sensitive skin sensitive skin if ordinary skin care products cause stinging itching, burning, um, you get red really easily, you get blotches sometimes unevenly when you use products on your neck and your face, you definitely have sensitive skin, okay, and here's a test to see whether or not you have sensitive skin, you take a Q-tip, you make an X on your face, <laughs> and you put an X on your neck, if it leaves a red mark you are definitely sensitive, okay? Because cotton is one of the least um, allergens, I guess, for uh, most people. Most of us, we can use cotton, no problem. But if you swab a, a Q-tip on your face, on your neck, and it leaves a red mark, you're sensitive. Okay, so you always want to use sensitive skin care formulas. They're going to be soothing but effective in balancing your skin. Okay, well, balancing your oil production. All right, guys, that's it for now. Um, next, we'll talk about what products you want to use for each skin type. Um, oh, acne. That's a skin type. How could I forget that? Okay, acne. If you have acne-prone skin, um, that means that your skin is prone to regular, not sometimes, regular widespread breakouts you got blackheads you got whiteheads you got visible redness inflammation that's acne prone skin you have to care for that skin uh, you have to be committed and use effective products okay that contain ingredients known to um, target the acne bacteria okay um maybe sell us something with salicylic acid i know i was going to talk about using products later but i know you guys with acne you, you, you really want that information, so I won't make you wait. But um, you want to look for products that have things like um, benzoyl peroxide, um, salicylic acid, and sulfur, okay? and um, But, you know, you have to be diligent with your process, your routine, keep your skin clean. Don't over exfoliate, you know, don't overstimulate. But we'll get into how to care for acne-prone skin at another time. All right, so anyway, um, one quick tip. If, if you have breakouts that pop up unexpectedly, try to get some like um, benzoyl peroxide wipes that can help spot treat and, you know, quickly dry up some breakouts if you have those type of issues, okay? That's just a quick hint from me. Also, sleep on a clean white pillowcase, all right? And change it frequently so it helps keep your skin clean as well while you're asleep. All right, um... If you're still wondering what your skin type is, feel free to ask me questions. You can reach me at Soul Intuition on Pinterest, on Facebook, on um, uh, Twitter, and whatever else. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.